Hey guys, it's Rachel here and I am back doing the 100 day project and today I'm going to work with all of these leftover bits of envelopes and just going to make, look I've got so many, these are all leftover bits of envelopes and really, they, look these are cute little, they open out so possibly we could think of something to do, already something's coming to me, look at this, I can put this like this. Yeah, that's going to work. Okay, let's do two of those. They're decent sized, you know, pieces of paper, so we might as well use them. I don't need to cut that. Now, let's just have a look. This one, I'm just going to, I will make that into a belly band, so we'll look at that afterwards. Okay, we've got these two big pieces of paper. Now, sometimes the envelopes have these bits, so I'm just going to sort out anything like that first. Okay, and then this one will have it as well here. So I haven't decided. I think oh, I have a vague idea. So let's just start working on it. They're two different sizes. Do I need to straighten anything up? Oh, I can straighten it up afterwards. Let's just start um, covering. I don't know if I'm going to use this, but I'm just going to cut that while I procrastinate a little bit. That would do well on there. Okay, keep those bits over there so I don't lose them. Okay, so what papers will I use? going to have it overhang just a little bit I'm going to cut it there and then I'll collage oh, oh, I got attacked by the ring light <laughs> oh my goodness oh dearie me attacked by the ring light that's not fun right I'm going to glue that on there and I may not need to put anything down below. I'll tell you why. Anyway, well, let's just do that first. I've got to figure it out. It's a work in progress. Oh, I've got book page all over it. Don't worry, we'll fix it. So I did write that when uh, in, I did do um, these, some of these bits were left over from, um, what am I trying to say? I can't remember. I've, got, I've had a blank now. Oh, well. Sorry. Started and then stopped. That's very sticky now. I'm going to have to get a wet one to wipe it off. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. So let's just grab our piece. Now this one was the cut one. I need to glue that down. Now, I was thinking, my first thought was, this will attach to the envelope. This envelope was a bit wider than that one, so it might be this one. This one, yes. See, this one's still stitched is still attached in the bottom, so that's good. I'll just keep that. Um, but I do need to trim it down because I don't want to cover all that bird. I'm going to make it shorter. Just need a little piece. And that... Well, I might trim it just a sec. Let's just figure it out. So that would go there and that would be a pocket. And so then you could cover the back and then that could be a pocket at the back, a double pocket. So maybe we'll do one like that, as I think we'll do. So it's going to be a double pocket. So I just need to cover this. 
not with that paper. I'll cover it with one of my background papers if I can get there. Or oh, what about a bit of, no, that's not going to be big enough. Both guys over there. this one trim off all the white bits, the border, and then I need to, I could glue that on and then cut it off. I'll put my glue on here. I'm not going to wrap it around because that makes it thicker. So this is obviously something that would slip into a belly band or in a pocket or something like that. Or could be a happy mail. So let's just cut this off. Okay. And then the other side we're going to cover. So it can be a little bit sort of... Now this was a paper that I, I had accidentally saved at low resolution, but... I don't mind the part here where it's beige, so I might glue that on the back. Why is that? I feel like I'm in such a tangle today. Does anybody ever feel like that? You just feel like everything's sticking to you. Um, now I can't see where my marking is. There it is. Everything's sticking to me. Everything's getting tangled and just a mess everywhere. It's just like having a whinge. <laughs> oh, dear. Everything's awkward. Not every day is a perfect day. Okay. So I will glue that on and then trim. And I don't really need to cover it all at the bottom. I snip away and then I end up snipping too much. Okay, let's glue that on. That's sticky, we'll move that aside. So it's less awkward. Wind the glue up. I love that I can just slide it into place. Okay, that's that. Takes on a nice thickness too, and then I need to do that bit there. I won't, I'll do that now. I just want to put it on and see. It's all going to be glued together. Oh, I love that. I need to snip that bit off there. And what am I going to put here? This. This and something else because it doesn't quite. No, I don't want that one. And you could put this back on. Then it's very blendy, isn't it? So let's get something else. I might have... Well, I'm not opposed to that one. I'm going to cut it a little bit bigger. Just so I can trim it off. Don't make the boo-boo of, you know, cutting it too small. I love these blue papers. They are really just, you know, I well, you probably noticed I use them all the time. Very nice.
Sometimes I can't tell which is the direction. Let's take this off. If I were to accidentally snip it, I would just lure to get down again. Everything is just sticky. It's just driving me bananas. Now, where are my wet ones? I need some wet ones. Urgently. Urgent wet ones. Help. Okay, good. Right. Now, there's my opening, okay, and this is going to glue on here. So let's put some, I'm going to run a bit of glue down here. When it dries, I, I should have done it before, but I will snip my semicircles out. You could go and stitch, then when it dries, go and stitch around it. I love that. So that's just like a gentling card with two pockets that you could put something in so that's the first one now this one what have we done on this one nothing so we have this one that is uh, already open this here so what I'm thinking is we'll do decorate up this one let's put some book page down that one where's this one I'm just going to totally cover it with book page don't need it to be that big. That'll do. And I can trim a bit up here and I'll trim up the rest afterwards. So just pick up your pieces that are left over and then just sort of play around with them and then see what inspiration comes to you. And then this one, I'm just going to stick this on here. gap up there just fix it with a little piece of paper you just patch it up that's what you do okay and then we're going to have this as the pocket on the front which I'm classing this as the front And I will trim it down a little bit because it's too wide. Because this piece wasn't necessarily with that one. I'm going to put that there. It just so happened to be the right size, which is lucky. More or less, I might have to trim a little bit.
Okay, so that's the front. And here I'm going to do my little snip. You probably won't like it because the glue's not dry. Oh, you get it. And I'm going to actually glue this down. So grab the glue. I think there's glue coming out and then there's nothing. So we'll glue that on the front. So in this case, we want this one to be open. Like, well, you know, the piece of envelope, it needs to be open so that you can do this. And that will fold around there. I'm just going to trim off this edge here already. See how it's, um, it's very crooked there? That's where I cut the envelope open. So I'm just going to take a little bit off. Okay. Then this side. Now I was thinking this could be cool if it were attached to the journal page. So just say this is my journal page. You could attach this as a pocket and then that flips open like that. Isn't that fun? I think that's really fun. So that's what that one's going to be. So I need to decorate here and here. this piece there and you don't even have to you know exactly cover your inside of your envelope I'm just going to fold this piece of paper over because it's all sticky and gooey I thought that's a really fun idea and then you can put a tab on so you can it tells you that that flip it out lift me it's like saying lift me This is why I keep all my bits, you know. You just don't know what's going to come from it. Not that one. Oh yeah, a piece of that would be good. Let's see. Put a mark in here and here. I am going to cut it down because everything else has been cut properly, so I might as well do this one as well. Okay. Make sure I've got it on straight and I'm just going to cut that little teeny tiny piece. And that's a pocket. So that reminds me that I glue that down on my page there. And then here, what have we got going on the front? We need to decorate the front a little bit. Um, I wonder if one of these would fit on there. That could be cool on there, couldn't it? Let's have a look. I need to use these. Where are the others? The others are down here. That one. Let's do this one. So, I'm going to trim a bit around the image and then I can trim off more if it's still too big. going to be good and then I can put a pencil mark top and bottom so that's just from that 
the art, the blue book that I've been doing using that had the art images in it. Maybe be a bit more. Oh yeah, that's just gonna fit. I might trim the bit off a bit off at the top. I might use that piece. So there's another one to put in the ideas book because I think that's a fun fun little project. So I am going to trim the top off and then we'll finish decorating it. Okay, so here, what will we put on the front? I think we could have a label there. And maybe... That's pretty, but I don't know if I want to use that one. I'm not quite sure. Maybe like that, but I do need to cut it a little bit better. I have done a bodgy job here. That's better. So we'll glue that on and then we'll put a label. And I'm also going to snip my corners. And we do need a label there just to break up some of that. And I think I would have a red or a blue one. My scissors it's collecting paper they are collecting paper I should say there's a lot of trimming when you do these envelopey things That's that then over here. I think I'll leave that. I'll leave that. Oh, I quite like that. Maybe we'll put that there. Carry on the butterfly thing. That would glue down onto your page and then that clips and we've got a pocket here and I, oh, a huge chunk of glue on my fingers and I'm going to put a tab I think I'll cut it out of my favorite paper this one I'm 
there we go. Done. And I will put it, let's move this, here. Oh, no, not there. There I wanted to put it. Ding dong. Now I've put glue there. I'll have to wipe that. Honestly, I just seem to be a bit goosey today, getting doing things the wrong way round. Just going to wipe it off. There we go. Good thing it's a book page and it's slippery. I love that. How much fun is that? That's with two pieces of envelope, leftover envelope from other projects. Love that. And this one. Oh, I didn't put anything here. I was going to put something there. Sorry. I thought I was done, but I'm not. Okay. So I'm thinking, let's have a look here. I think up the top, well, it was meant to be a journal card, but I do, I'm liking the look of this one, I think. Let's just have a look. I could get a smaller version. So lots of envelope idea, you know, recycling envelopes ideas are coming our way, aren't they? But I think there's something enormously satisfying about it is, you know, you didn't throw it in the rubbish. It's free, except for your, if you're decorating it with whatever papers, then, well, you might decorate it with free papers. Who knows? I just think that's so pretty there. There, or that will blend in too much on that one. I do, I, it's meant to be a writing spot, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not leaving it. I can't help myself. I'm gluing it on. It's done. I just like the colors that's going on there. And then over here, what could we have? We could just have some sort of, um nice big Tracy something happening there. I love how it all works together. I love that one. There we go. Now I'm happy. Honestly, scissors, you need a good old clean. I might cut my fingers off in a second. Okay, now we're done, I think, me thinks. Right, so that's the um, sort of journal card with the two pockets and I do need to slip this in if I can. Yes, I should have done that before. I could have done them together. I'll slide that in there so you can see that it's a pocket. Just like a floating pocket, really. Okay, that's that one, but I like it. And you wouldn't know that there's two bits of envelope under that. And then this one is going to be attached to a page and flip up like that. There we go. Fun, fun, fun. So I hope you enjoyed that. I did. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye.